The ripeness doctrine concerns the right time for a court to evaluate an administrative agency action. By waiting until a dispute is ripe, courts avoid considering a case prematurely and weighing in on questions that are still speculative or hypothetical. In Toilet Goods Association v. Gardner, the United States Supreme Court applied a new ripeness test. Following congressional amendments to the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act, the Federal Commissioner of Food and Drugs promulgated new regulations. One of these regulations authorized the commissioner to suspend certain services to any manufacturer that refused to allow Food and Drug Administration employees free access to all manufacturing facilities, processes, and formulae involved in making color additives for food, drugs, and cosmetics. The Toilet Goods Association, an organization of cosmetics manufacturers, together with a number of individual cosmetics manufacturers and distributors, sued the commissioner and John Gardner, the Secretary of Health, Education, and Welfare, alleging that the new regulations exceeded the commissioner's statutory authority. The association sought declaratory and injunctive relief. The district court ruled that the act didn't prohibit a pre-enforcement suit against the regulations and that a justiciable case and controversy existed. Because its decision conflicted with the Third Circuit's holding in a similar case challenging the new regulations, the district court certified an appeal to the Second Circuit. The Second Circuit affirmed the district court as to some of the regulations, but reversed as to the free access regulation. Both the Association and Gardner petitioned the United States Supreme Court for certiorari. The court granted cert and consolidated the cases for argument with the Third Circuit case, called Abbott Labs v. Gardner.